Hey guys, on today's tutorial, we're going to be updating your iPad to the latest iOS. All right, so let's just go into your settings. So my settings are up here. And what you guys have to do is go into general. Okay, so that's down here, go into general. And just before this, just make sure to make that backup. Make your backup using iCloud if you want to, or just use iTunes on your computer. And as you know, with iTunes, you don't have that five gig limit. You guys can just make that backup and you're good to go. However, with iCloud, you do have those free, so-called free five gigs. So just hook it up to your computer and make that backup just in case something goes wrong. Anyways, once you guys are in general, so here's general, your second option will be software update. Under software update, this should load up. Now, some of you may see install right away and that's because the update already downloaded. That means at this point, once you hit install, just make sure your iPad doesn't die on you, okay? So just make sure you have at least 50% of your battery so nothing wrong happens. Even when I'm at 100% of my battery, I still have it hooked up to electricity so nothing happens, just to make sure. I'm just afraid that if something happens and I have to restore, I want my information to be backed up. And that's why I always suggest backing your stuff up. So let's just hit download. So. How long will this take? It's between five to 10 minutes. And then it really depends on your internet speed. If your internet speed's really slow, sure, I can see this going on for half an hour, but nothing longer than that. Even the installation process should not take too long. So we're just looking at maximum 10 minutes for installation and download time, okay? Most of you, five minutes, you're done. It's not a huge update, it's a very minor update. So just make sure that during the installation process, your iPad does not turn off. If it turns off during the download, nothing happens. It's just downloading the update. You guys can just keep downloading it afterwards. However, like I said, during the installation process, it's very important that it doesn't turn off or nothing happens. So. If you guys want to update this, just leave it alone, let it do its thing. You guys can just let it do its thing, okay? Um, after it's done downloading, it's gonna give me a message saying that if I want to install right now or later, if you guys don't hit anything, it's just gonna install by itself. So just let it do its thing once again, and then you guys can just go on with it. It's not gonna ask you for your Apple ID again or anything like that, so don't worry about it. I know a lot of people ask me about that. I'm not 100% sure why, because you guys should be messing around with your own Apple ID. If you have forgotten your password, for example, you guys can always reset it. It's really easy, because it's just gonna send you a link to your email and that's it. Anyways, what you guys will see after it restarts is a white screen, an Apple logo, a loading bar, and then it's just gonna restart again, and you're done. That easy, that fast. Anyways, that's it for this video tutorial. If you guys have any questions, comments, you can write them down here in the comments area, and don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.